everyone welcome back to my channel i'm huck today we are doing a currently reading update to chat about what i've been reading what i've been up to all of that uh you might be able to hear hopefully you can't hear there's someone like talking in the background so hopefully that's not distracting i can hear it but i don't know if it's going to come across on camera hopefully it won't and hopefully it won't be distracting uh but let's get into what i've been up to recently uh, i think i mentioned in my last wrap up that I started a new job in February, uh, which was very exciting. Everyone's been very nice. Uh, but as always, starting a new job is just like a little overwhelming. You know, it's a lot of new people, a whole new organization, new clients, new projects, new this, new that. It's a lot of information. Uh, so in February, I was, my reading wasn't very consistent. Um, but my reading has been pretty good in March so far. I've been feeling pretty optimistic about it. And part of that is because I started off the month uh, with like a five star book, which is a great way to start a month. And even though since then I've had some ups and downs, it just overall kind of set the tone for the month and has made me feel very optimistic. Uh, so that's exciting. So far in March, I have read three books, three graphic novels, and I have had three DNFs. So, you know, it's been kind of a mixed, mixed bag this month, but Let's get into what I've been reading. So the last thing that I finished was volume two of Witch Hat Atelier. Uh, this is a manga about a little girl who wants to learn magic and she accidentally uses some magic that gets her into trouble and then she's sort of taken under the wing of a witch and brought to his atelier where he has apprentices who are learning magic. So she's there learning magic. She's a little bit behind because the other apprentices started much younger and so she's trying to catch up. Uh, but there is this like larger mystery that has started about uh, that there are like these two factions of witches and one of them may be trying to manipulate her in some way or use her for their own ends. Um, so I, fin I read volumes one and two uh, in the first half of the month and I've been enjoying it. At volume one I wasn't totally sold on it. I was like this is cute but I don't know if I'm like that into it. But after reading volume two now I'm much more interested in it. It has kind of gotten the mystery going a little bit more and so I am more interested in seeing where this goes so I do intend to continue on with the series for now. Okay then let's get into the books that I'm currently reading. So what I'm currently reading right now, my physical read, is The Dawn Stag by Jules Watson. This is the second book in the Dalriada trilogy. The first one was The White Mayor, and that was my like first book that I read in March and I loved it. Uh, so I like immediately ordered uh, the second and third book in this trilogy so that I could just binge the whole trilogy. So this is historical fiction set in tribal Scotland around 80 CE, uh, right at the point uh, of the Roman invasion uh, where Rome is trying to press into Scotland. Uh, and we're following two main characters and two kind of main plot lines in this. Our main characters, one is a princess and priestess of her tribe uh, and she has had a traumatic past and so throughout this uh, this series she is dealing with her trauma PTSD and flashbacks and then the other main character that we're following is a Irish prince who was uh, run out of his own country and has escaped with a, a small band of loyal men he ends up on the shore of uh, this Scottish tribe and agrees to help them try to fight off the the Romans um, as they are coming into Scotland and in order to solidify that alliance he makes a political marriage to the priestess uh, but their their relationship is very complicated and difficult uh, and so it definitely starts off very rocky for them. So one of the like plot lines that we're following is it's about their relationship but I think more so it is about the priestess, her name is Rianne, is more so about her like healing journey as she is healing from the trauma that she experienced. And then the other plot line is about them essentially trying to unite uh, the Scottish tribes in order to fight off the Romans. And it's not going well. People don't want to work together. Uh, anyways, so 
I read the first book earlier this month, loved it. I'm on to the second book. Um, and I was hoping, I'm, I'm sure I can finish this book by the end of the month. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish the whole trilogy just because I had to get these books used. Um, I don't know if I could even find them new anymore. Certainly not this edition. This edition I could only find used. Uh, but because I was buying them used, it took them a little bit longer to get here than I thought they would. So I'm starting it later than I meant to. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to like finish them uh, in this month. But I am very excited to be reading this. I'm about like 50 pages into this book and it's a pretty like chunky book. It does have very like thick paper so it probably uh, is like looks thicker than it actually is. It's like 500, 550 pages or something which isn't short. It just looks a lot chunkier than I think it actually is. Um, anyways, I'm only like 50 pages into this but very excited about it. The other book that I am currently reading is a reread. I am rereading The Witches of Ilianen by Kate Forsyth. This is the first book in, I think the series is called The Witches of Ilianen. I actually think this first book uh, eventually was like retitled. I'm not sure what it's called anymore. Uh, but the edition that I have is called The Witches of Ilianen. So this is uh, set in a fantasy world where witches used to very much have like a place of um, esteem within society. They were very integral to society. Then someone new took power and started essentially hunting witches uh, and driving them out. So many of the witches have died. A lot of their knowledge and culture has died with them. Um, but a few people survived. The main character that we're following is this young girl named Isabeau who has been growing up in a isolated valley uh, and she has been raised by one of the witches who escaped. And there are events that kind of force her out of the uh, safe haven of this valley into the much more dangerous world to get involved in that destiny. Um, and so, okay, so far I don't have a lot of strong feelings about this. Like I really enjoyed this series when I read it years ago. It's I don't even know how long it's been. I read this like in high school so I remember almost nothing about it except for like a couple of very specific scenes that I have I no longer have any context for. I just remember like specific images. Um, so it's kind of like going into this brand new and I just like I can see why I enjoyed this when I read it all those years ago uh, but it's not one that's necessarily super grabbing me now uh, but I also feel like we're still very much in the like still very much like ramping up and getting started kind of setting people onto their journey you know I think I'm like 40% of the way in but it has the potential to like get more <laughs> gripping but I just like don't have a lot of feelings about it at the moment I am listening to this as an audiobook and I feel like that was a good choice for me because this is the kind of book where the author like writes the um like writes accents into the text of the book which I just don't enjoy. I don't know if I've ever seen a book that writes uh when they like write accents into the text does it in a way that feels just natural and doesn't feel awkward. Uh, and also the accent that they're doing is sort of like a pseudo Scottish accent with just a lot of like ye and ken like one of those times where they just throw in the word Ken in any instance that uses you could have used the word understand or no. Uh, okay so those are the books that I'm currently reading. Then for what I'm reading next I actually have two books that I have technically started so like maybe they're technically currently reading but I'm not actively reading them and they're sort of books that I am intending to focus on next other than well actually no wait that's not true the next one that i'm planning to read after the dawn stag is the boar stone which is the third and final book in the dalriada trilogy this one is a little bit shorter i have heard that this is actually more of a companion to the first two books that like the first two are kind of a duology that are following the same characters and timeline and then this is following a different character i don't know if it takes place like you know further into the future from that original timeline or if it's just like a different character kind of parallel to them I don't know but I've heard that this is sort of a companion to the first two 
So after the Dawn Stag, I'm planning to go here because as I said, I'm trying, I would love to finish this whole trilogy in March uh, just to, you know, binge through the series and have that like complete immersive experience of finishing a whole trilogy all at once. Uh, but, you know, if it pushes into April, it's not going to like significantly change that. I will just read it in April. It just would be fun if I could finish it in March. Uh, okay, so then back to what I was originally saying about two books that I technically already started, so maybe they're kind of like currently reading, but I'm not actively reading them, so this is sort of where I'm planning to go next. Uh, I had started Moon Dark Smile by Tessa Grattan a while ago, put it down for a little while, picked back up recently, and have gotten, I've, I've been feeling more in the mood for this again. I had started it and uh, just decided I wasn't in the mood for it uh, when I picked it up like a couple of months ago. Uh, but now I feel like I am, and so I want to get back into this. This is the second book to Nightshine by Tessa Grattan, uh, which is a YA fantasy series. And in this we are following Raliel, who is the child of the Emperor, and she wants to go experience the world uh, before she she inherits uh, and becomes the next emperor. So that's what she's trying to like get her way onto an adventure. The other book that I have started but I'm kind of like not focusing on right now but will next is my audiobook listening to Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tam. Um, this is about the daughter of the moon goddess uh, who has grown up on the moon with her mother and at the beginning of the book she kind of has some revelations about her mother's past and life uh, and is separated from her mother and sets out on a quest I guess to find a way to free her mother from the moon. I've heard some pretty mixed things about this. I've heard some people like love it and then a lot of people have been very disappointed with it. I'm not far enough into it yet to like really have an opinion. I think I read the first chapter of it um, but it, it was not one of the books where like I read the first chapter and go like immediately no. <laughs> You know, there are some books that are like that. Uh, so we'll see where this goes, but this will probably be my next audiobook after The Witches of Aelianen. Okay, so those are uh, those are the books that I am currently reading, what I'm going to be reading next. I'd love to know how is your reading going? How is March going for you? Uh, what have you been reading? Is there a favorite thing you've read so far in March? All of the things, just let me know. I'd love to talk to you about it in the comments. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye!